beautiful. So let's talk about your childhood also then. You're from Chambur yeah. and you'd have to agree that Chambur is a foodie's paradise. <laughs> Absolutely. I still remember mm. having lassi at this Alvin lassi corner. I mm. still remember the Sadhguru Pao Bhaji. Oh right. And their milkshakes, their si yes. tafal milkshakes. <laughs> uh, there are very uh, close friends, family owned uh, Grand Central, the butter chicken mm. there. I don't eat meat now but... I used to dig their butter chicken so much so that I used to tell Sudhakar uncle who used to own the place, who still does, that please send me butter chicken. <laughs> uh, so all the chamberites right now are nodding their heads in agreement. Yeah. <laughs> and, and I have seen your video eating Jama's gulab oh, jamun. Oh yeah, that I still order it. Yeah, that I still order it. But uh, I really love, I I love the flavors. Yeah. Uh, that I got to taste when I was young. I remember there used to be this really small, uh, small joint which was, which was a Chinese joint called Humpty Dumpty where we had American <laughs> chop suey. <laughs> so. so I spent New Year's Eve at my building society party in Chambur. It's not a joke, it's true. And this is not a story about my fall from grace from the cover of Vogue magazine to attending building society parties, although that would be... I think South Indian food, definitely. Yeah. Uh, and I don't think anywhere in Mumbai really nails it except my aunt's house. She oh. lives in Chembur, my, uh, my Nalini Atta, my aunt, and her house food is the best South Indian food in Mumbai. Okay. But One thing common between you and me, we both have grown up in the same neighborhood, that is Chembur. So I what... spent not just my childhood, but a large part of my life in Chembur. Wow. You know, so it has a very special place in my heart. And when someone says they're from Chambur, I become partial towards them. Oh, <laughs> I'm, I'm glad I'm starting off my conversation on that note in that place. <laughs> so what's your favorite memory from that place? From Chambur? Oh my God. You know, there's not one. I spent 31 years in Chambur. So I have too many memories growing up, um, the neighborhood where I grew up, you know, 11th Road, which is close to Chambu Church. And then the school I went to, St. Anthony's Girls High School. Um, every nook and cranny of Chambu has memories attached here. Yeah. Absolutely. And in terms of food, because Curly Tales is known for its food and travel recommendations. So anybody who comes to Chambu, what is your go-to recommendation for that person? Oh my God, Gupta Bhel. Gupta Bhel was the best for Bhel Puri, Seer Puri, Pani Puri, Dahi Banata Puri. Umi Pani Agya Mere. <laughs> and they say even Raj Kapoor used to go there to eat Bhel. You know, uh, because it's, it's so... This is the place where I've been born and brought up in Chambur. And my favorite Gulab Jamun. Matter of fact, when I was born in Mumbai, I was born in Mumbai. Chambur, in Tilak Nagar. और वहाँ बचपन से मेरे ख्याल से जब से मैंने होश संभाला तो एक ही जो to visit the Madras Music Academy so in Bombay we lived in a very beautiful apartment complex called Uttam Society and there were eleven or twelve buildings we use the word building in Bombay not apartments like we use in Madras and every building was named after a ragam I don't know how we landed up there. M my building was called Basant. We had Basant, Bahar, Kamboji, Mohanam, Shama, Varali, Sahana. So even now when I connect, when I've reconnected with uh, many friends from the past, my phone carries their name as Sahana Kalyani. Because my friend is Kalyani but she lived in Sahana building. <laughs> so, and that's how we speak at home. Um, in the Mohan, Bhairavi Mohan, <laughs> that kind of a thing. So we live. Did he say